Welcome back, Double Eagle. Last year we did a lot of fun STEM activities together, and now I want to start a new unit. If you have any pages left in your STEM book that you didn't do, don't worry about them. We're not going to use those for the rest of this year. Instead, we're going to go on a space adventure. I want you to pretend that we are looking for a new planet that humans could live on. What would it need to be like? Hmm, could we live on Mars? What's the difference between Earth and Mars? Let's compare Earth and Mars to see why it's so easy for humans to live on Earth, but why it would be very difficult to live on Mars. First, planets that people live on need to have an atmosphere. On Earth, our atmosphere has oxygen so we can breathe, and it also protects us from some of the sun's harmful rays. You can't really see our atmosphere, but if you go outside and breathe the air, or feel the wind, or see the clouds, those are all part of our atmosphere. Mars does have a thin atmosphere, but it doesn't have oxygen for us to breathe. Second, our planet needs to be the right temperature. On Earth, humans live in a wide range of temperatures, from below zero to over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. But a lot of planets are much colder or much hotter. On Mars, if you're standing on the equator during the day, it might feel like a nice temperature, but most of the planet, most of the time, is even colder than Antarctica. Third, our planet needs water. Not only do we need to drink water, but any plants that we grow will need water, any animals we bring up with us will need water. In fact, all the living things that we know about need water to survive. Mars has some frozen water in its ice caps, and millions of years ago it might have had water on its surface, but right now it is very dry. Last, our planet needs solid ground for us to stand on. Some planets like Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune are gas giants. That means they don't have any solid surface. If you tried to fly to them, you would fly through the thick gases like a soup that are their atmosphere, and eventually you would get to liquid metal at the center. There's no solid ground to stand on on those planets. Now Mars does have a rocky surface. That's how the Mars rover is able to drive around and explore the surface of the planet. So maybe someday humans will be able to live on Mars, but first it would need to have oxygen and water, and it would need to be warmer. What if we could find a solid planet that already had the right atmosphere, temperature, and water? Some telescopes are looking for planets like that right now. Astronomers use information from their telescopes to try to tell how many planets are going around a star, and whether there's an atmosphere, if they're a rocky or gas giant, what kind of temperature they might be. One system that might have Earth-like planets going around it, TRAPPIST-1, is not very far away compared to other stars, only 40 light years. But even at the fastest speeds our probes can go, it would take at least 100 years, probably even thousands of years to get there. So for now, we'll have to use our imaginations to try and guess what those planets might be like. Let's pretend one of them is a little bit like Earth, and we're going to try and go live there. Even though it's just for pretend, we can't actually travel in space that far. The science we learn will be real. For your STEM assignment today, I want you to draw an Earth-like planet. It should have some water and some land, but the rest of it is up to you. If you need some ideas, here's a poster showing what one science artist thought the TRAPPIST-1 planets might look like, based on the information we have right now. You can draw your planet on paper or on the computer. Make sure you add lots of color, and I want you to write or tell about what makes this planet a good place for people to live. How is it like Earth, and how is it different? Share your response with your class. If you have time, I also put a link to a cool NASA website where you can explore our solar system, so check that out if you have time. I hope you stay safe, have fun, and keep imagining.